Oh shoot! I'm at the University of Maryland and I'm about to get into a flight simulator. We're gonna see if I crash. But I think I'm gonna do well, maybe. Did I break anything? That took a turn. I've flown in actual helicopters before, but never a military one, and I've never tried to pilot one in an augmented reality simulator. But today's the day. Okay, a U-860 helicopter. A Blackhawk. Oh, cool. Okay, I've not been in one of those before. And we're going all out with a haptic suit. This actually feels kind of like a back massager. Sensors. So this is going to measure my breathing. And even electrodes. There we go. Got it. They're going to be able to see how stressed out I get while I'm trying to fly this helicopter. All right, going to get strapped in. I'm basically going to be moving the helicopter in the direction I feel the vibrations. OK. Ooh, look at my beautiful helicopter. I see the ocean. I see a runway. Is that a basketball? Why do I feel more concerned about the cow than I do the guy with the gun? It's a military base. The guy with the gun's supposed to be there, but I don't know that the cow is supposed to be there. It's like a Greek Trojan horse or something. It looks like there's Ted Kaczynski's cabin over there. I'm ready. I gotta pitch forward a little bit. I think I'm, I'm flying backward. Am I supposed to be flying backward? Oh my God, we're going fast. Woo! Did I crash? What just happened? I feel like the tail is like stuck in the, in the ground. Apparently I was supposed to just hover, but I didn't know that. So onto another scenario and this one is a lot harder. Holy cow. Oh my, there we go. We're doing good. We're doing good. We're straightening out a little bit. It wants me to go left a little bit, a little bit more like that. Okay, I might've hit that a little much. Okay, now this way. I am completely off the runway. I am going sideways and now I'm tail spinning and I just had a hard landing and now I'm crashing. Okay, I have crashed. Woo! Okay, that did not go well. That did not go well. I am making myself dizzy now. Okay, I'm shutting my eyes. Woo! Okay, I might need some water. I'm going to stop for a second. Yes, please land me. Thank you for saving me. I did take a few breaks. Yes, I'm definitely going to want some water. Where is it? <laughs> Thank you. And I've never thrown up from VR yet. But I was like, is today going to be the day? So the water helped out a lot. The whole reason this technology is being developed is not so I can humiliate myself by crashing over and over again. It's to save lives and eventually allow pilots to fly through conditions where they can't see, like fog. We're trying to develop it in order to augment the pilot's perce perception. So for example, if you're flying at night, you wouldn't have visual references, so you, would, you wouldn't be able to tell whether you're moving forward or, or back. And there are some specific crashes that Umberto Seti and his team have in mind. Typically, pilots fly with, the, with, with their vision as well as the sense of equilibrium, but when some of these senses fail or they're degraded, uh, that can lead to a particularly dangerous scenario that is called spatial disorientation, which, which has caused past accidents like um, uh, the JFK Jr. accident in Martha's Vineyard in 1999, as well as the Kobe Bryant accident more recently in Calabasas, California in 2020. So let's take the JFK Jr. crash, for example. That was at, uh, at dusk, uh, going to, towards Martha's Vineyard on, on water, so there were no visual references. They didn't understand that they were rolling to the right more and more, and they were starting turning. And at that point, uh, their, uh, their perception uh, of, of gravity was telling them that they were, they were actually pitching up, whereas they were, were effectively pitching down, where they should have done the opposite thing. Um, and so eventually they went into what's called the graveyard spiral, mm -hmm. and they crashed. They even want to read pilots' minds. I had sensors on, uh, and you could see my breathing, and if I was getting stressed out, how, what did that look like while I was in the middle of crashing? Also, we could clearly see some of your physiological signals changing uh, during the crash, and also not during the crash. We could see your heart rate, we, you could, we could see your respiration. I'm going to try this again, but this time I'm going to shut my eyes in the VR and see if I can fly this by just the vibrations I feel on my body. I'm feeling a little bit of a vibration on this side. Back a little bit, over a little bit. Oh no, did I crash already? That was. That was terrible. I don't think I was up in the air for very long. I thought I was gonna be doing so well. I did horrible, but that was awesome. Thank you. How did I do? Uh, you did fantastic. Really? So, I feel like you're lying to me right now. Are right, you sure? So, so, so this is a task specifically designed for pilots. Okay. And so for not being a pilot, you did great. Okay, but if I was a pilot, 
If you were a pilot, uh, there could be some enhancement that could happen. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for more really cool AI and tech. And in the meantime, I am going to try to recover from the motion sickness I'm feeling.